Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster, finishing up the post-apocalyptic era in our science fiction park. If you guys are enjoying this series on Planet Coaster, make sure you hit that like button. It's the best way of letting me know that you want to see more Planet Coaster in the future. Over here we're just adding a couple more buildings. We added a Street Fox Coffee place and a Gulpy Energy Drink, just to keep our guests nice and caffeinated so they can run, ride to ride, and spend more money. I think I make that joke every time I put a coffee shop, but whatever. We're just doing some finishing touches all around here today. Not really adding too many new things, but just working a lot with these wires because I do like these wires. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, adding some more effects, finishing up the area, adding some triggers to the rides, things like that. So I'm sure a lot of you will enjoy that. I love these, the look of these wires, so I decided to kind of slap them all over these buildings. Came out pretty, pretty cool looking. Adding some more metal pieces because I realized these were a little bit too, like, wood looking. They're, they're not futuristic looking enough for me like they look like they could be western or something like that over here in this part where the uh, river rapids ride come out i wanted to put some water or something just kind of add a little bit of effects some nice spraying water i thought that looked cool and i realized i forgot to put the smoke in these guys so we thought we'd go ahead and do that toss the smoke in there so they kind of puff out smoke because they're supposed to be like ventilation uh pieces Ven the vents <laughs> ventilation vents i guess I don't really know what to call those, but well, just like some sort of underground vault or something, so that was the main idea there. And then these lamp posts all around here. I said I was going to do it off camera, I kind of forgot to, decided to do it in the video. Because <laughs> why not? Over here I wanted to do a couple different things. People said, uh, try putting lights in the water. Doesn't work super well, like as you can see, we put one down there. Didn't really do too much, unfortunately. Added some more bushes throughout there. We are going to add some triggers to the coaster today. I thought some of those looked pretty nice. So we did things like light triggers, and then we end up putting... Uh, some of the Kraken pieces down into the water kind of make it like a mutated Radioactive creature or something which you could change the color of the Kraken That'd be cool if you could make them green or something because the purple looks a little weird But with the green lights and stuff it comes out all right looking Not bad not bad and it's more trees and stuff all throughout here up uh, some people had some good ideas for uh, the skyscrapers we tried adding like uh, like green things to them like having them overgrown uh, it was a little bit too bright green for me looked like it was a little bit too alive so I decided not to do that uh, it, it just didn't look very good and then other people had a good idea of raising the edges of the crater which I tried to do when I first made it but I guess I didn't do it enough or they just fly in over time but so we added some crater edges there added some paths kind of in and around the buildings just give a little bit more detail added a whole bunch of trees here looking good just kind of fill in the space don't want too much stuff up there a lot of people were saying that you could put like sparks of electricity or more falling dirt it's so far away you're really not going to see it so i'd rather say the processing power for like the future sections of the park rather than just have those effects that really won't be seen by anyone anytime soon just because the guests are at no point going to be near the building so i didn't want them too highly detailed or we didn't really need them too highly detailed because it'd be kind of unnecessary they're just meant to be background pieces not actually part of the set Mm. If you catch my drift. Still using these hobbit fences. These were from quite a few parks ago. We used them pretty often. These are the fences I made uh, for our Middle Earth park back in the day. Back in the like month and a half ago when we were working on that. And I finally decided to get rid of the gravel paths and just go with the natural paths. Uh, there were a few sections where it was being a little funky like right here. So I had to go rebuild the path. And so it gets a little wonky looking. But that's okay. Doesn't need to be perfect around here. I think that looks a heck of a lot better. This rapids ride made this part of the park really popular. Like people are running their little butts on over here. Like you see, it's getting really busy down at the bottom left. Uh, so we do change up the pass a little bit, trying to alleviate some of that congestion. Again, not super worried about that sort of stuff because again, we're not making money. It's just a sandbox park. So we're here at some point. I think this is my try to put like the leaves and plants and vines on the sides of the buildings. Uh, but it's just too bright green. If they're more subdued or something, I think it'd be good, but I don't like the bright greenness. Like, as you can see, nothing really in the section of the park is that bright green color. Even the, the trees we use, the ponderosa pines, are a much uh, darker green. And I think that's that's the reason I picked them. It's because they weren't overtly bright and lively looking. They're, like, they're still alive, like they do have green trees on them, but they're not crazy green. Uh, over here, I wanted to add another building. Originally, I wasn't going to do anything with it, but I decided that we should put a shop in it. Wanted to make two stories and realized that was a little bit too gaudy, so we'll go ahead and lower it down a little bit. Didn't want too big, it's supposed to be just a larger version of the shacks that we've seen. They're right here. I think we put, what, just a memento in there? Something like that, yeah, we put just a memento. Just a little souvenir gift shop, because why not? 
Finishing up. The building we put next to it is pretty cool. We put a uh, random building in here as well. And I think it came out pretty, pretty cool looking. Not bad, not bad. And some more wooden posts all throughout there. So this is the more of the standard shack design. We do end up adding a little bit more. Uh, trying new things. You know, just trying to make the buildings look a little bit different from one another. Despite, uh, <laughs> except for the ones that we seem to copy and paste, but whatever. It's okay. It makes sense that there would be similar ones, I guess. And I love draping the power lines on these things. You guys, you guys will see me do that a lot this episode. I think they're really cool looking. We even put like a little crooked window there. Just to make it a little weird looking. Adding these things. Realizing, wait, I didn't really line these up very well, did I? Okay, let's just go and adjust all these. <laughs> Move them a little bit. Well, I just love how those look. We even end up putting like a spark effect there. Just to kind of... I don't know, the spark effects are cool. They kind of make it... That's what sparks sound like. In case you didn't know. <laughs> Over here, I wanted to do like a big old building on stilts. I thought would be pretty cool. Uh, so that's what we're kind of doing here. Just an unusually shaped building. It actually comes up really nice looking with the cool little ladder going up to the top. So that's the things I want to do in these sorts of parks where we're really pushing the limits of the game while pushing the traditional design sense rather than... Because, I mean, we have right next to it just that larger shack with just a memento. And it looks good, but it looks like it can fit in with a lot of places. This is really a unique building that just really stands out on its own. And I was having a weird problem. There's this bug I was encountering where... Uh, the scenery pieces were sticking. Like it, it, it was a split second in the time lapse, but for a while, like they were sticking. It wasn't letting me move them around. It was a little odd. I've not seen that bug before, but uh, whatever. Connect these guys up with the power lines, making them look all nice and pretty. Adding some vents to the top, and realize I forgot to put the little triangle there. There we go. Finish that up. So yeah, a uh, random looking building, but it's, I think it's pretty cool. Adding some sparks out there. Sometimes I wish the spark or the effects pieces were smaller. Cause they are kind of those big tubes that shoot at the sparks. Like I wish it was just like a small point so I could actually put them on the wires, but this is okay. I think the illusion is complete. Looks pretty decent. There we go. Finished off those two buildings. Added some lighting to them. Made them look rather nice. I wanted a couple more buildings over here. Now uh, we end up changing it to just one, I think. Cause having a cosmic cow there really disrupted this flow of traffic. You can see it gets really busy right there. So we end up changing that quite a bit. I will also put another medical area there. Over here, I wanted to do what we were talking about earlier, was adding some triggers. So, uh, we start off with the Kraken one, and then we end up doing a whatchamajigger. What's the word? A uh, light one later. We actually end up switching the triggers quite a bit, just because they go in sequential order based off of the distance, or the point on the ride. And so I always want to start with the first part of the ride first. And then I found these things. Those are like these weird little animatronic pig thing, so I don't know what the heck those were. They must have been new. I think they're part of the fairy tale parts, but whatever. So you'll see here, we do like one over here, but then when you add another one that you want uh, previously on the ride, it'll move it, it'll like reorder them, so it's kind of annoying, so we end up just deleting them completely. Just trying to figure out the timing uh, for when the trigger gets activated as opposed to when the coaster actually rolls in the station, so it's a little late there, so we move it all the way back there, and that should work quite a bit better. Also wanted to rotate that guy around, and then there you go. So yeah, but you want the coaster to go through right as the Kraken is flinging his little arms about. And then we have the speakers here, and these actually have a preset, which is the Kraken Roar. And so I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and set those up here. And I'm just now realizing that we made this a separate trigger, but we ended up deleting these triggers. And I didn't fix it later. Uh, so it's actually supposed to trigger with trigger 2, but we ended up triggering it with trigger 1 as well. You'll see that in a minute when we have the lights inside the tunnel, so dang it. I realized we're gonna have to go fix that. I thought I, you know, when I was filming the tour at the end of this video, we rode the coaster again. I thought I realized that it didn't actually play the Kraken sound, and that would explain it. Uh, I was pretty sure I noticed that. That makes sense. Added some more bushes and rocks all over the place. You guys know I love bushes and rocks. I should make an entire park that's just bushes and rocks. Bring your kids right on this rock. <laughs> the old pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> oh, SpongeBob references. Who doesn't like them? The stupid trash cans are being kind of annoying. Not sure what they were doing. I guess we don't add those coaster lights yet. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit more in here because I agree that parts of the river rapid rides were a little bit boring. So I wanted to add some more stuff in here, kind of going with the underground vault theme that we had going on. I think it'd be pretty cool looking. Uh, doing something similar to the video on the first splashdown, but just like a different entrance to the vault. There you go. And then instead of the smoke, we have these dry ice things. 
They're a lot more subtle. In fact, they're so subtle at nighttime, you really can't see them because they do illuminate better during the day. So when we ride through here at the tour at the end, we do come through at nighttime, so you can barely see the stuff coming out, but it's okay. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do some triggered lights in there or something, but no, I like it being nice and subtle. I think that works a little bit better. I'm trying to figure out some more stuff to add. Again, the controls in here were driving me crazy. Uh, people recommended hitting T and changing to the first person camera. I did, it's still annoying. Because anytime, like I said, any like I said in the previous video, anytime that you're working on such a low plane like this, uh, when you try and spawn an object in such a tight area, it it's kind of annoying. And then you pop through the ground like that, like it just happened for some reason. You the camera just teleports to the ground, so it's a little annoying. Over here, I wanted to do like an underground vehicle or ships or something, just kind of being supported by wood. It's kind of like it's hidden down there, resting. Not really any clear ideas here, just kind of messing around the pieces, trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. Uh, the two of the rapids right at the end, I don't make it the entire. <laughs> I don't make you guys sit through the entire ride. I edited it down to just the highlights, so don't worry. Uh, putting some green lights in here, we're going to time these with a the trigger. I thought they'd be a little cool. Uh, originally, I think the last one might be timed a little bit off. Just because originally we had the rapids ride kind of peeking through. And that was spilling some of the green light in there. So we end up changing that. See right now, it keeps messing them up. It keeps spawning them. Uh, every time we add a new trigger, it spawns it back at the old one. So we went and changed that. So now we can just have them nice and sequential. There we go. And that should work. I just wanted to test it out real quick. See how it looked. Yep, it worked. There you go. Looking good. Uh, and then we added the old one with the crack in there. There we go. Yeah, so I messed up the crack and roar. That should be on like the sixth trigger. I, I attached it to the fifth. That's not not quite what we wanted to do. I will go fix that. Maybe. If I don't, I might forget. <laughs> be perfectly honest with you guys. I don't want to lie to you. You're my friends. You're my only friends. Oh man, isn't that depressing? No, it's not. <laughs> oh man. Added some more sparks and some wires to the entrance and stuff just because I do like them and I had to discover them when I first made the entrance. And then over here, well, I thought this was a little bland looking, so I thought we'd put some wooden pieces on the outside here. I don't know, just try and judge it up a little bit. They didn't want just a plain ride going through. It's a good timing though, you get to see all the little rapid rides kind of flow through. They are pretty, pretty slow. That's my main criticism, because I thought they'd be a little bit faster on this ride. Can I adjust the speed? Uh, you can adjust the speed of the other tracked rides. I should have checked that. Huh. Maybe we'll increase the speed of those, if it's possible. But there you go, guys. That is the post-apocalyptic area in our science fiction-themed park. Very exciting. I, I think this is one of my favorite sections I've ever made in any park. Like I said before, you could probably make an entire park out of just this theme. It was just a lot of fun. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button. It's the best way of letting me know that you want to see more Planet Coaster in the future. Let me know what you thought of this area. I think it came out pretty cool looking. I will have to finalize all the names probably when we do the final tour. I'll pick them all out. But I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to the next section, guys. I'm still tinkering. I'll probably figure that out today exactly what I want to do in the next section. But hopefully that'll be up within either tomorrow or the day after. I'm looking forward to it, no matter what it's going to be, because this game's awesome. Oh, good hit that guy in Zodad. Sorry, buddy. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.